Hello everyone, welcome to AKP Child Tech. Today, I am going to set up Raspberry Pi 4B in headless mode without keyboard, mouse and monitor. For this setup, we need one USB micro SD card reader. Here it is. Next, one micro SD card. In Google, search for Raspberry Pi Imager. Next, go to raspberrypi.com to download the software. Here I am going to download for Windows. Now it will take couple of seconds to complete the download. Next install the software. It will take couple of seconds to install the Raspberry Pi Imager in your system. In Raspberry Pi Imager, first we need to select the device. Here I am going to select Raspberry Pi 4B. Next the operating system. You can select the operating system as per your requirement. Right now, I am going to select Debian Book 1 64 bit and it's recommended also. Next, the storage. Select the USB storage. Now, it's all done. We can click Next. Now, we have the OS customization window. Let's click on Edit Settings. First, we need to set the username and password. Note down the username and password because we need this username and password for future connectivity. Next, the Wi-Fi settings. Put your Wi-Fi SSID and password here. Next, the wireless country and your local time settings. Before going to the services window, we need to select the host name. It will help you to find your Raspberry Pi. Next, go to the services. You need to enable the SSH. And we are going to connect the SSH with the help of username and password. That's why the first option. If you have a public key, you can use the public key authentication. Now, it's all done. Save the settings. Now we are going to click on yes. Right now one warning window is visible in the screen. So if you have any important data in your USB device or micro SD card, don't erase it. Okay. At first back it up and next you can use it for the Raspberry Pi purpose. Otherwise it will erase all the data. So that's why this is the warning. Now we are going to click on yes. Now it's all started. The Raspberry Pi Imager is loading the operating system into the micro SD card. The Raspberry Pi operating system successfully loaded into the micro SD card. It's time to remove the micro SD card from the card reader. Now it's time to insert the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi 4B. And it's done. We join the Raspberry Pi 4B. Next, we need to find out the IP address allocated to the Raspberry Pi 4B. Here, I am using Angry IP Scanner. You can use any software that can scan the IP addresses in your network. The scanning process started. From the host name, we can easily find out the IP address allocated to the Raspberry Pi 4B. Let's copy the IP address. Now, we are going to connect the Raspberry Pi 4B via SSH. For that, I am going to use the Putty software. In the host name, just paste the IP address you copied from the IP scanner software. That's it. Next, the port, it's 22. Now, select the SSH option. Next, click on Open. For login into Raspberry Pi 4B, we need the username and password. 
we have used in Raspberry Pi Imager. Let's do it. To modify the Raspberry Pi 4B settings, we need to use sudo raspi config. Next, go to the interface option. We need to enable the VNC server. By default, it's no. So, we need to make it yes. That's it. The VNC server successfully enabled in the Raspberry Pi 4B. Now, open the VNC viewer software from your laptop or desktop. Paste the IP address of Raspberry Pi 4B and hit enter. Now it's going to ask for the username and password. It's time to enter the username and password you have used in Raspberry Pi Imager. Next, OK. Congrats, you have done it. Right now you can access the Raspberry Pi 4B from your laptop or desktop and it's completely headless mode. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.